welcome to our newsletter. This letter, newsletter comes at the time of the new moon and always a new moon is a time for planting seeds, for deciding what seeds we want to plant in the earth, um, in the earth of us, in our awareness, in our consciousness and what do we want to grow in the times that are coming. And it's a new moon in Gemini and Gemini being the twins it's all about this or that choices that we make. I'm very much with this today that we live in a duality. We were born into a duality. This or that, hot, cold, right, wrong. Um, and, and in a way what's happened is that we have polarised so that when we are right it makes somebody else wrong. And when somebody else is right, does that make us wrong? And I was sitting with this today because there is so much at the moment, so much going on in terms of information that we're being given, um, conflicting ideas about what's happening. And it occurred to me to tell the story of the two wolves. And for those of you who know this story, there's another ending that I didn't know until today. So. I'm going to tell the story with both endings. It's a Cherokee story and it's a teaching story. And grandfather says to grandchild, Child, there are two wolves inside of me. And the fight's going on between these two wolves. One wolf is dark and evil and vicious. He's angry. He's full of envy, regret arrogance, self-pity, resentment, inferiority, lies, false pride, superiority, ego. And the other wolf, the light wolf is joy and peace, love, harmony, hope, serenity, humility, kindness, benevolence, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion. And this fight is going on inside each of us. And the grandchild listens to grandfather and he says, so in this fight, grandfather, who wins? Grandfather says, whichever wolf I feed. And this makes a lot of sense to me because if we feed the wolf of kindness and joy, then it seems as though the big bad wolf would go away. But actually that's not true. You know this for yourself, negative thoughts, things you tell yourself. If you try and push them away, uh, they seem to get bigger and louder. Just like the big bad wolf in the story of the three little pigs keeps coming back bigger and bigger. So <clears throat> this fight between these two wolves within us is an eternal fight. We can't get rid of this. Even if we tried, all our... Um, archetypical stories or um, of the heroic journey is all about the the battle between good and evil so that we don't want to try and get rid of the big bad wolf so the question the other question and the end of a different story is what if we were to feed both wolves I like that. I like that a lot because when you feed both wolves then you have both wolves getting what they want. What does that mean? See the big bad wolf to me is all about our uh, the, the dark side of us. 
course we don't want to live from that place, but we want to honour it. We want to say, I hear you, I know that you are here and that you are part of me. Uh, we live in a duality. It exists. You exist. You are somebody. See, when, you, when I hear myself say that to the, those aspects of me, I feel this relief going on inside of me because that wolf is somebody. We can't deny it. And if we do, it just gets louder. So we want to feed it with our attention because that's what it's asking of us. When we feed both, then we have a dark wolf. This lays down, and I've been heard. And the, and the light wolf and being fed as well with joy and happiness and compassion. And for me, surely feeding the dark wolf also gives us a sense of compassion and generosity and kindness and all the things that the, the white wolf, the light wolf, uh, represents. If you feed one and you starve the other, What would happen? Just, I want you to take this out into the much bigger picture. Just sit with that for a moment. If we feed one and starve the other. So when we feed both, there's no need for any internal struggle. And when we feed both, they will both serve us and serve life itself. Isn't that, isn't that what in our hearts we all really want? And when there's no battle going on inside, we can hear that still small voice of wisdom, our intuition that guides us like a compass through life. It brings peace. The Cherokee say that a man or a woman who has peace inside of them has everything. I think that's a wonderful story and I'm giving you that story today because we are at that place of a new moon, a new moon in Gemini which is this or that. In shamanic tradition we hold both the light and the dark, we have two hands so that we can do that. We can hold both the light and the dark in equal balance it doesn't mean to say we act from the darkness, but we know it and we've embraced it and encompassed it in the darkest places within us. And that means that we can also hold more of the light. So I wish you a, a wonderful new moon. I hope that you can manage to do a ceremony or make an altar and in this newsletter you'll find a number of different ways that you can honour this time and honour yourselves. So thank you for listening and thank you for being you and coming here to make a difference in our world because if you're reading this newsletter, listening to this, then I know that's what you're here for. So thank you.